Hey, what's up? Oh, too slow. Today, we are going to be brainstorming the world's most awkward handshake. You make me love you so much. I can't help it. You guys trying to play it cool, but you're like, I see your nostrils moving. Bro shakes, we like... This symbolizes a V for victory. <laughs> Someone thought we need that emoji. I don't know what Q aggression stands from. Oh, like a and secret. Yeah. Ah! Oh my God. That's embarrassing. So let's start by talking about how cool it is that dogs actually shake hands. I mean, does anyone think that that's just incredibly cute and adorable? And I can't believe dogs will like shake on command when they're trained, right? Yes. My little girl Husky, she only does it for treats. So cute. Uh, I have two dogs. One of them is an Italian greyhound and she refuses to shake hands because she broke her arm once. And so now she has a metal rod in there and, and she's very sensitive and very sassy. Won't let me shake it. Oh. Um, but my uh, Australian cattle dog lab mix, she will try to shake my hand without me doing anything just so she can get a treat. So I have a small toy poodle. Um, Bella, whenever I try to shake her hand or try to ask for her paw, she just rolls over. I actually was just reading in psychology today about how their emotional state, whether they have cortisol in their body or not, when you look them in the eyes, whether you talk to them or whether you touch them physically, and there is a huge improvement in the dog's mood when you physically touch them. So I don't know if you guys... Aww. Make sure to touch your dog, like when you come home. Yes. Like make sure to, you know. <laughs> but I heard Aww. it's bad manners too when like dogs, like bad manners for dogs to come up and want to be touched all the time. I saw that on like a dog show once that the training shows, they're like, don't, don't let them become codependent with you because oh, then oh, they get oh. really anxious when they leave oh, that's and true. then they I get no touch. Yeah. What about <laughs> nose? Does your dog ever touch your nose with their nose? Yes, and she does that head pressing thing. I don't know if your dog ever does that. It is yeah. so cute. Oh, like it's, a cat when it like puts its scent on you? It's kind of weird. Like it's just like their little head being pressed against your body and they'll kind of lean on you and like, like tip you too. over. Yeah, and that's their sign of like hugging because they can't use their little arms. So they just... That's cute. <laughs> yeah, there was a whole thing on how dogs, they touch noses with their puppies, but not with like other dogs that they're not friends with but they will sometimes when they're friends so i don't know the psychology behind the dog nose greeting but there's something something very complicated going on there yeah whether a dog decides that you're a nose a nose toucher or not All right i grab my dog's face and i'm like totally invading like, it's privacy. Get away i'm like from me. i love you <laughs> i don't know what cute aggression stands from yeah. you know like, you yeah. make me love you so much i know i, I just gotta squeeze your face so so that leads me to what uh was ranked as the most uncomfortable type of handshake which is called the probing handshake have you ever unfor experienced that unfortunate situation can you explain what a the probing, probing handshake is? is? Can you, I yeah, mean, Matt. Kind of? yeah you, can, you can look it up. But the, <laughs> so the probing handshake oh. was ranked as the least enjoyable. So they've done some studies where they looked at different types of handshakes, whether it's like fist bumps or uh, different types of general common handshakes. But the probing handshake is where the hand comes in and then the index finger just does something like a stroke, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if there's a video of it, but yeah, you can see it got right it up here. on screen there. But the the probing handshake. Oh wait. So when Oh, okay. oh get um, out of yeah. here. That would be too. Does weird. it surprise you that when surveyed after people had the most negative feelings towards the probe? Does not surprise me at that all. Is that not. is so invasive. <laughs> Yeah, that is I invasive. feel like that is if you're meeting someone for the first time, you don't like if you're a hugger and say you give them a hug, you don't rub their back. Oh, gotcha. So why would you rub their palm? <laughs> right, it's like, got that same know? feeling like you've taken yeah. it one step too like, far. Like maybe a pat, so maybe like a tap tap is fine. Oh, maybe. Oh, so not a full pro, but you don't mind not a tap. A, yeah. Right. Nobody it's wants like, an unwanted probe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no? So not surprised yeah. that was at the bottom of the list. Unwelcome huh? right. here. Yeah. We have a lot of nerve endings in our fingers. Give somebody a second chance if they probed, or do you think that's a... Yes, I would, especially oh. if they were to make a joke on it. Yeah, be like, that's true. <laughs> I think that's funny yeah. when people call their, themselves out. Yeah, that could break the ice even. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, so maybe a probe with a joke might... Probe with a joke. <laughs> Wait, <I'm laughs> a few times you can use that. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> the handshake emoji. Are you guys, is that how you, are you into it? You use it a lot? I would say so. The, and that's usually the I... first text message you send to someone? No. Or the last one? I would never. Like to meet someone, do you start with the emoji? <laughs> no. Are you talking about the one that's like... Oh, you don't crossing? You don't, Are you talking about like the high five? Oh, that's the prayer one, isn't it? It's like oh. prayer high five. I don't even know. That's I use like it nom- as a prayer. I don't know if you guys, yeah. Do you do namaste? Do you do namaste? Namaste. Is that, that oh, means yeah. hello or something, right? That, or yeah. I, I yeah. think it means closure, right? Like <laughs> I know at the end of yoga, they're like namaste. Oh, yoga. Yeah, like it's yeah. like thank you or goodbye or something. That's true. Yeah, they do namaste after yoga. Do you? I'm seeing the hand. Can you bring up the handshake emoji? Oh yeah, yeah, that one. I can't do it too. Right. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Do it's you that one? It? Yeah, but when we first met, I, that's what I texted you. Remember? I was like, "Nice to meet you." I don't remember oh, your first. <laughs> so no, no, funny. Oh my god. <laughs> the handshake emoji. Can you oh. imagine getting that for the first time, being like, "Oh, nice to meet you too." Uh, yeah. Someone thought we need that emoji, and yeah. they put it out there. I. I bet it's used more for deal. I bet it's like, "Hey, do we have a deal?" And like deal, and then that's I bet, what I, bet I use you see it the for. Handshake. Oh, okay. oh. Like, oh, you're paying for the Uber. I'm paying for the drinks. Deal. 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 That's what. I, that's the only that's reason a, I send that. <laughs> yeah oh, or it could be like holding hands like a couple oh. holding hands walking oh, right yeah. it would have been misinterpreted. like do we have a deal or not like why are you holding my hand yeah, yeah. oh yeah deal or no deal that come from like a dowry too like oh hand oh, and so marriage. i have something in my pocket from? wink wink the dowry and then they would shake hands oh like a secret hand it, up? yeah Oh, what about the? Ca- have you ever done the cash thing with someone? Where you like keep a little? I think like, that's the same thing, $20 right? dollar bill, and you're like, thanks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like as a little tip, and they're like, ooh, nice. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Do you have a memory of doing that? Not legally that I can. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I've never, never. Nice. never. <laughs> No yeah, worries. people have done that for princessing and stuff. Like they, you can't hand a princess money, and so you kind of thank you so much. Oh, so <laughs> I, when you're in princess attire, yeah. you'll sometimes be like thank you, and then yeah, slide they'll the like money. try to shove it, and I'm like, dang, that's I very can't magician take of that. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm really practicing my I, magician skills. Like, why why do humans even do handshakes and like waves? I mean, not like other animals really do it. Well, it's actually funny because during the Roman era, the handshake was actually invented between enemies and they would slap each other's hands like this to like make sure you didn't have a weapon up your sleeve (laughs) because you can't hold a sword if you are holding somebody else's arm. So So it's like a weird grip where you're like, don't hurt me. Uh, Yeah. I'm like, how ironic is that? That now the handshake is a sign of generosity and open welcome, but it used to be a sign that I was not going to kill you. So, well, so if someone didn't yeah, shake your hand, yeah. would you be like, he's got a weapon? Exactly. Like, You've got a no. sword fight for this sure, guy now. For sure. Yeah. And it used to be a sign of um, like wealth or the higher class. And um, the Quakers in England, once they were, you know, shoot out of England, they um, settled here in the U.S. And they decided that for everyone to be equal, we would make the handshake um, more accessible to everyone of all classes. And that kind of reminds me, like when you said that they were like tipping their armor away, it reminds me of like when we tip our when men back in the 60s used to tip their hats to say hi. I think that's interesting. I wonder if that's correlated. So there was research at the Wiseman Institute that said a human handshake might serve as a means of transferring social chemical signals between people. So the way this works is they had some students, they would just record um, random people at coffee shops doing handshakes. They were unaware of it. And then they went back and noticed that 25% of these truly random handshakes both people will smell their hand, like not like huge sniffs, but they tend to bring the hand really close, almost subconsciously. Do you think there's information coming from the handshake to the to the nose? Yeah, that's actually really hilarious because I made a podcast about body language and I was doing research about the pheromones and how interesting it is when we first interact with somebody, what happens when we're trying to pick up on somebody's pheromones. Because not only is it very interesting to pick up on somebody else's pheromones that you're attracted to, but we actually do it to find out if they have the opposite immune system as us because oh. to you know prolong our species and to have healthier babies it would be smart to pick up on a pheromone that would detect if somebody had the opposite immune system as you and also if you want to see if somebody is interested in you or attracted to you and you're seeing if they're picking up on their you know pheromones by doing a subconscious you know like you said the subconscious sniff oh, look for the their nostrils yeah. yes look for their nostrils because their nostrils will 
subconsciously flare oh. in and out to pick up on your pheromones if they find you attractive or not. Because they're not going to waste their nostrils if they don't find <laughs> you attractive. They're not going to waste their nostril movement. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And For we sure. do this. We find, you know, men sweat very attractive because it has more pheromones to pick up on all the subconscious information. So if you're trying to play it out cool at the bar, your nostrils are going to give you up. Oh, man. <laughs> I bet that also goes with germs. You mentioned immune system. I don't know if I... I'm very OCD, and I feel like every time I, like, shake someone's hand, I'm like, I need hand sanitizer so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, please. I never noticed nostrils. Now you're going to notice. I'm going to watch like, everyone's nose yeah. flaring oh, yeah. or yeah. Un- not flaring. And I'll be like, why, aren't, why isn't your nose flaring? Yeah. Like some guys trying to play it cool, but you're like, I see your nostrils moving. Don't even try. <laughs> I know you're You've loving me, baby. Me. I can see your nose. Yeah. <laughs> the researchers also wanted to mention that there's two places where historically it has actually been part of a very common handshake to sniff the hand, and that was Greenland and rural Mongolia. So having a handshake and a sniff afterwards was the norm in those two cultures. <laughs> wow. Wow. So it, it transfers chemical information. I know some cultures say that it transfers your sins. And so oh. certain people won't shake your hand because they don't want your sins on them. Uh, I think this, oh. oh my God, I don't, please fact check me, Matt. I got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard that only certain people are allowed to shake your hand because they don't want your sins upon themselves. Or if they are willing, they are willing to take them all wow. because they believe that you are pure. You've shaken someone's hand, have you picked up any sins? I think I've picked up some sweat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> some that was so simple as we're getting here. Come through? Yeah. What do you hands? Have you given any sins from a handshake? Like let them off your, <laughs> let them off your chest? Oh, I'm no, relieved. You know. Right. right. <laughs> Maybe you're when like, I was drinking. You're like, oh, right. good. Thanks for taking that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk Pledge of Allegiance. Um, have you, Pledge of Allegiance, is that a greeting? Do you consider it a greeting or not a I greeting? Pledge of Allegiance. Would you ever, I don't know, do it if you met somebody? Never in my life would I ever do the Pledge of Allegiance meeting someone. I don't. I think they're actually taking that away from schools now. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's, that's funny. But if they were doing it to you, would you put your hand over your heart and, and do it back? Gosh, I don't know. That's such a good question. I mean, maybe maybe when you're like drinking, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Everything looks cute when you're drinking. I don't know. Maybe if maybe you're in enough. Yeah, beer in the hand. Yeah. yeah. Like, Let's do the yes. Pledge of Allegiance. You're like, yeah, I'll join in. An so, improv like game would be the only time where I mimic someone doing the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> yes. You say yes and, and you go with it. But that is the, I think I would take out my phone and record whoever. <laughs> that's, that's the greeting for our government, you know? Like right. That's us is it? Greeting our flag. to the. Is it? To the state, I guess. Or <laughs> yeah. I try, not, I try not to think about it too deeply, but right. it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. doing something. Yeah. Something yeah. surprisingly. I haven't done that in years. Like, I can't yeah. remember the last time I've what, like, What's your last memory teach- of doing the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh my gosh, I had to be like, what, in like fifth grade or something? School? Right? <laughs> yeah, like a little school. Did we not oh, do school? Like, yeah. Uh, what do you, how would you define a bad handshake and a good handshake? I guess there's like the classic, like, like your hands are wet or your hands are full and you're like, sorry, hi. Oh, hi. The right hand? Yeah, yeah, or like like you both use you your right hand. If you're holding a, yeah, a and it's like what's worse? Like they knew your hand was wet or you just shake them with a wet hand. <laughs> yeah, how do you come back from a wet handshake? What about some of your travel stories? Have you had greetings in other cultures that went awry? Yes, I did actually. So <laughs> This was like my biggest eye opener because going to Spain to study in San Sebastian was my first abroad experience. And I did not know that there's so many different cultural cues that you have to pick up on. And as Americans, we're very like happy and optimistic and we're always smiling all the time. So I would be smiling down the street and smiling to people walking by. Hi, yeah. you know, hi, because that's what you do. You're just yeah. happy to be walking in Spain. And then... Um, Got your husky, big smile on your face. Right. Happy to not be. Yeah. right. And then one of my um, Spanish teachers pulled me aside and she was like, um, you can't do that because that signifies that you're a prostitute. Oh, <laughs> what? See. I was like, Oop. Oh, no more <laughs> smiling on the streets. No yeah. Smiling. Yeah. And I got, you know, cause I'd get Jeez. winks and you know, I mean, you know, guys are creepy anyway. So wow. I was just like, whatever. But yeah, it was signifying that you are a prostitute. If you smile on the street of Spain. Oh. 
at least in San Sebastian, it was very conservative. Right. So after ah. that, just straight paste. Yeah. Did you, what did yeah. you, what did you replace it with? Mean yeah, mug? you had, yeah, everybody was mean mug and like it was, what's your, what was your favorite greeting that you remember from your traveling? Mm. I think cause there's like, you know, like hand gestures, like this means some like a bad word, right? Matt? I thought that meant peace. Isn't yeah. that good? Yeah, but, or is that, that, but that in England, in this is the middle finger. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah, middle finger things. Yeah. The so bird. I could say. You never know how to hold any fingers. Right. And then the middle finger is all of them. actually like peace signs <laughs> somewhere. No, don't put all 10 up. That means something too. Yeah, that's everything. <laughs> Offensive. <Yeah. laughs> Very bad. <laughs> right. Have you heard that you were not supposed to point at a rainbow? Really? You, you guys heard of that one, right? No. Like, you can only, oh, yeah. You can only point. There's a lot of cultures where you can only point at a rainbow either with your elbow or your tongue, but you don't do it with your finger. You shouldn't point at people with the finger too, right? Right. Isn't yeah. that rude? Oh, is it? Because it points back at you. That's what they say. Like oh, I, I have you heard wishing that. ill harm on someone else is one finger triple pointing the at you, harm. two back at yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like you made a mistake, like that kind of a thing. Yeah. Like you I made like a mistake because you're actually pointing at them and then right. back at you. Yeah, no, that's true. what my mom told me. I don't me even want to point at you guys. Yeah, it feels like I, I was like I don't even want to point because it feels. <laughs> Have you done the finger guns at someone? Yes, it's a joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's bing, a bing, joke. Bing, bing. <laughs> As a kid, I watched Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, and like at the end, they would do like a little oh, kind yeah. of thing. I don't know if they did finger guns. I don't. I can't remember, but. Definitely did finger guns as like a seven year old to like nine, and then I think I dropped it from there. <laughs> yeah. Never. Yeah. I, I never <laughs> used it. Um, just to go back to what you were saying about the oh, yeah. peace in yeah. places such as UK, Ireland, Australia, India, this symbolizes a V for victory. Oh, so you're victory? saying, ha, I'm better than you. I won. Oh, oh. oh you're being a spoil sport yeah. or whatever that right. is. Like you're being like, I won, you lost. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, if you come in as American, you're like, yeah. From World War Two, still hung up yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> World War II, 40, 45. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, an American doing the peace sign in the UK, like, I don't know how. Well, that's going to blow over. I don't know either. Um, yeah. Uh, do you make up, especially from, from the feminine point of view, what do you think about a firm handshake? So, Alabama psychologist William F. Chaplin said that it may provide an effective initial form of self promotion for women to make sure that they squeeze hard enough do you think about the amount of pressure like especially in a business setting yes actually in a business setting it's really isn't it advised to have a really firm handshake because i've always remembered the people that have had firm handshakes and i know that they know that i know that they're doing it on purpose and it also expresses like some level of dominance or confidence so i think it's really important to have a very like firm handshake so you've on a business interview you've yes full strength every single time yeah. Nice. Yeah. I heard to prevent being squished, you extend your index finger as far as you can so oh. that it doesn't, it leaves like a really firm place for them not to squish. Oh, because I've definitely had where like they don't go Yeah, where up they the squish your fingers. Yeah, and you have to extend oh, your that's, and that's the worst. index. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice. Try it out. Move. Yeah. Oh, man. Where I'm would my life fact. be if I would have started that 10 years yeah. ago? Yeah. Oh, that would have been great. Okay. So, a variant of the alpha handshake, which is the strong handshake where you squeeze until potentially their knuckles go white or something that's very powerful, is the pull maneuver. Have you ever heard of grab it and then you kind of, it's good to meet you? Mm hmm. Yeah. So now they're in this position where their hands like out uh, and they have to like come in on that. Have you either pulled or been pulled before yes but is that like a dominant is that like a power move to whoever brings whoever in closer Seems like it yeah. like a strength test i don't know yeah, i feel like it would be kind of comforting like welcome you are welcome into my personal space oh, <laughs> you yeah. know i don't know i i I can see where it could be a dominant perspective where they're like, you're mine, or I'm <laughs> dominating this handshake. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think it's friendly. I think if you're allowed into someone's bubble at that extent. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of funny videos on YouTube where there's politicians that are like, they start there and then like, yeah. <sighs> Uh, you know, like it yeah. kind of, it does like a thing that's kind of back and forth. It's Going really for an like, air kiss. They don't want to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That che double cheek kiss. Are you, you think that's appropriate or when's the right time for it? Have you done it? Um, as a, like, I'm half Puerto Rican, so I do it whenever I greet my Puerto Rican family members. But other than that, I don't use it. But I would, I would think that somebody that anybody of 
Latin descent, that's very normal. And I wouldn't question it if they did it to me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm Mexican Italian and my Italian family who's come out, never met them, but they're from Italy. They kiss me left, right, left. Not actually on the cheek though. They just, just you make the kissing sound by the yeah, yeah. It's an air right? kiss, it's like, right? Yeah, or whatever, and then yeah. my Mexican family, uh, it's always a hug and then one kiss on the cheek. Uh, so I'm Filipino. We don't we don't really do that in, in terms of like um, this type of like greeting. Mm. What we do do to show respect to the elderly is we take their hand just like this and we put it on our forehead like that. Oh. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. That. It just shows respect. It's like, oh, okay, I understand, you know, you, you have more wisdom than me, you know? Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Like, like acknowledging the brain? Yeah. Or like where the, <laughs> yeah. Where the smarts be, are? Yeah, the third eye. Yeah, the third eye, exactly. So when, Sniff it, too. Yeah, and then, yeah, oh, smell the, smell <laughs> oh, the knowledge. Oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Sniff it afterwards. Make sure you got all the wisdom. Okay. Hey, Grandma. Right. <laughs> pheromones. Smell those pheromones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do you think about people who want to get rid of the handshakes after sports? So they say that there's some comments that, like, after football, especially in high school, like high school football games, basketball games, teams line up, they shake hands. They sometimes, on occasion, lead to sort of a face-to-face -face confrontation that can oh. turn into a, a bit of a fight or just can cause tension between some players. Do you think it should be banned or do you think it's a good thing? I think it's a good thing. I think that is the hardest thing you have to do to keep your sportsmanship, yeah. then there's something wrong with you, not the handshake. It definitely shows oh. camaraderie, right? Yeah. You, you can say we are both people and we have this skill set that we're just exercising, right? So I think, like, I agree with you. It's right, it's, loser or winner, shake loser hand win. Even if you don't have to, you don't have to shake. Like, you can just like high five. That's what we used to do. Is like high five trains where everyone would just walk through and you just go <laughs> <laughs> and high five the whole thing. Uh, That's true. Nothing too personal about yeah, that. Yeah. Like, in the soccer, way. some people would like spit on their hand. Oh, that was really see, gross. See, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's the, confrontational oh, yeah. for team. sure. I'll teach them. And that's where I had my trust trust issues with hand sanitizer. I needed it forever since then. Okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. Did yeah. You, what's the uh, what's everybody's preferred social distanced greeting? You like bows, elbows, just like waving from across the room? How have you handled the COVID distancing? I think that that has probably been the biggest change to the handshake was COVID. I, I think that people are still really scared to shake hands again, even though we've, we don't have masks anymore. I think it's, it's not something that I see yeah. regularly happens. Have you ever had someone, have you ever seen when you look at someone and then they, they do that, like as if they shook your hand, but then they're just... Yeah. yeah, it's kind Friend of like, thing. Hey, that happened to me the, the other day. I put my hand out and the person did, did this and I was like, Okay, so yeah. I shook the fingers. <laughs> That's so weird. Nice. Yep. <laughs> or you get like the fist bump and the yeah. high five and you're like, oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah, I've definitely been there. <laughs> yeah. Or even worse. Like it's what's like the left right thing. Sometimes I'm trying to go right. They go right. Like, well, like when does that thing uh. stop? But I've had the exact same problem. Like fist, their hand. Oh, I'll go hand. And then they go fist. <laughs> like that nice. thing is the worst. Yeah. That's so I like awkward. fist. I think you could like connect with someone with minimal touching yeah but it's yeah. literally it's like paper rock scissors if you're gonna go fist just keep it like let them yeah. figure out all the things That's that you're true. not doing keep your because rock. as soon as you try to match them then yeah. they've, they've come to where you've come to yeah and like it just gets... there's actually a study that's uh 20 times it says it's 20 times less germs than giving an actual handshake is okay. doing the the fist bump i like it too it's just I don't know. It just feels yeah. like Rock a, it's got yeah. a little punch vibe to it. <laughs> yeah. it very like... Is that more of a guy thing? Because well, girls I don't. don't... I like it. Do you, That's do you true. Like it? I don't think girls really do that a lot. Oh. You, like we don't. You've never just fist bumped another another chick. Oh. No, and unless it's shocking. Right. I think I've only fist bumped a, uh, bumped a man. Really? Yeah, like yeah. my brother. That's a yeah. Yeah, I don't. Is that like a guy Maybe thing? It's a male thing. Matt, you want to weigh oh, in? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all I do too. I just thought everyone did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 that's so true. <laughs> or like so the funny. guy. Do you find that there's a disconnect sometimes when there's a guy handshake and you know the bro shakes where you like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like when, you, like, <laughs> when you like come up to someone and like you like 
snap your hands and you have to be at the right velocity to snap and then you have yes. to chest bump or do whatever oh. the heck you guys do <laughs> yeah. And, yeah and one of you misses oh my gosh my boss was talking about that today and he was like yeah every time i try to handshake a brother i always miss and i'm like oh no <laughs> that oh must be gosh. so embarrassing because i love a complicated handshake i've tried i've taught jen a few we remember we remember them to varying degrees of success but i just think it's so cool when you walk up to someone and you're like it's all patterned out it's like a dance oh yeah i think it's great yeah doing it at a bar like everybody looks at you and you're like yeah we're the coolest do you have people any in the room. multiple step <laughs> handshakes yes i you do some, some people that you that yes. you're in on that yes that's good that's healthy yeah every single Wow. friendship i've had we definitely have like our own little that's so cute so what's, your, what's your best one um me and my friend i don't know we do the since we're girls we think it's so funny that we do the bro yeah. thing and then we chest bump as hard as we possibly can <laughs> i don't know it's it's just two girls like you see two girls like flying yeah. off the room you're like what do you know i get it i tried that when i was in soccer and i was like around eight years old and this girl came up to me and she i swear in my mind she's nine feet tall she's probably like five foot and i was like you know three and, and we came up to each other and she bumped her giant chest into mine <laughs> i fell backwards and i blacked out for like two seconds and i woke up in the grass and i'm like oh, what happened <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm like, gosh. never yeah. had a um, chest pump in my life ever again. Oh my gosh, you're like traumatized yeah, whenever chest pumping. Okay, what about the hand hug? Popular type of handshake with politicians? You guys, Aww, thumbs up, thumbs down? Cute. You into it or not? Is it like... Like that? The hand hug? Oh, I don't think so. That's a hand hug, yeah. I'm hugging <laughs> that's kind your of a hand. Probe situation, or that's a tap. No, no, no like, that's I feel like... Ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah, can you bring up a, okay. <laughs> yeah so so it says this type of handshake this type of oh. handshake involves covering oh. no cover the clenched hand with the remaining free hand creating a sort of cocoon like that's kind uh, of i don't think peaceful. i don't think you're right i think <laughs> i could be up type in hand <laughs> yeah. hand hug cocoon maybe oh or, oh, oh. Like this. Oh. oh you guys got it the hand yeah oh. you there it is Oh, all four? Oh, yeah. Oh, is it four or three? <laughs> so that's good. That's, a, that's the whole hand. That's like all hands on board. All yeah. Hands, yeah. On hands on deck for that one. <laughs> Can't, like, where would you use that? So that one was rated the most warm, friendly, <laughs> trustworthy, and honest. So there's, and you know, thinking of what you said about the sword, that that's the one that you don't have a sword. Right. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's three hands and one person has a sword and <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> a hidden sword. That's how you really that's get them. That's true. That's true. <laughs> right. That I feel like the only context you could use that is when you still have to be professional with somebody and you can't hug them, but you really want to show them oh. that you respect them or really so like a good not conversation. my Starbucks barista. No, <laughs> no? Okay. yeah, so, maybe. Yeah, because I maybe. Actually, it's, oh, it's, you do. <laughs> Geo does it at work apparently. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I, you got it right. I thought it was the That's handshake like, where then you kind of bring the guy in and pat his back a little or whatever. Like you, you shake hands, but then you're like, "What up, bro?" Like so, it's a, it's got this sort of hug at an angle after a handshake but i think that's a I guy think was thing wrong. i think you guys are yeah. right especially that word because they refer to it as a cocoon like a hand cocoon that's not what i was thinking isn't that a guy thing though like i've only seen guys like, that, like yeah. oh, i don't know hit their hand and mm -hmm. then they hug that's because they don't hug with two hands yeah yeah if i'm you gonna hug a girl i just go hug her yeah just oh. two hands. that's <laughs> how girls hug i like the handshake on one and the arm on the other I, yeah I feel like that's pretty normal yeah that's a guy hand hug oh <laughs> Guy hand more, there's hand a lot more guy stuff. I thought it was just everybody stuff. No. Yeah, the bro. That's, that's that awesome. awesome. In Australia, you can't even, a man can't shake a woman's hand. A woman has to put their hand out to shake first because oh. some women don't want to be touched. Probably good advice, I good. guess. Yeah. 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 So like, maybe good yeah. rule of thumb next time you want to go shake a woman's well, hand. Well, either way, because it's, like, it's just the worst. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> And then, like, you see the fate, like, you're like, well, I have to make up some excuse for my hand is out. So then you, yeah. like, scratch your ear like or something. Or, like, oh, I just yeah. be a fish. I yeah. didn't want a handshake. Yeah. That's what they did in, um, like, middle school. They were going for a hug, and they're like, jellyfish. And yeah. then they would, like, jellyfish their arms out. What about a psychic reading? Have you had uh, anybody read your palm? And do you feel like that has affected your greeting at all? Oh, yeah. I've actually had my palm read to, like, this weird accuracy where she, like, knew 
like everything that was going on in my life at the time. Okay. But I don't know if that had affected my greeting. It just affected probably my mental health. But now, <laughs> when look, now when you look at your hand, do you see it? Did she say good things? Or she said bad things. Yes. Like she said just like, I don't know, just like weird things about like my relationship. And I at the time had a uh, ex-boyfriend that was younger than me and I was interested in an older guy. And she like read my palm and she's like, so tell me about the younger guy and the older guy. And, oh, and she just knew and she knew prompting? to the date like when we started dating how long we were going to last after and it it was all accurate in this weird time frame based off yeah it makes sense. i can see that in your palm yeah <laughs> Ooh, like a lot of trouble yeah yeah and isn't like some things connected like it means that you're going to get married or you're going to you have three kids here twins here or something. yeah maybe Matt, can wow. you read palms for us maybe you can yeah. do some googling on that yeah. see maybe see some if you could read someone's palm, palm outlines please for for yes dummies. we can all do a palm analysis right now jeez I yeah i had to. someone um shake my hand it was actually my my nona's friend and she went to go shake my hand i was like maybe 16 at the time and she stops and she goes <gasps> and i'm like what and she's like you used to be a russian dancer oh. and i'm like in life? <laughs> yeah, yeah in your previous life she's Whoa. like you used to be like i see you on a stage and i'm like yeah like i'm an actor and she's like no in your past life you love to dance you're always on your toes you're a ballet dancer i see you wearing black like and then i'm like f getting freaked out i'm like okay lady thanks very much <laughs> like you know i'm like she's but that was just like weird for me and I was like, how did she know? Because I don't think my Nona even told her that I was an actor. So like, how do you know? Maybe. What about, yeah. Have you ever done a secret handshake to get into a club, like a secret club or one of those like speakeasies? Oh, no, I, I think I just texted them. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, come on in. Yeah, come on Slide in. Slide the thing open. Got your yeah. text. <laughs> right. Take me over something. Nice. Right. Airdrop right. your invite. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. That would be cool, though. If this yeah. Thing. I mean, like, like, yeah. Well, like the, uh, like um the illuminati or the stone stone masons right or what are they called Something oh, like that. there's like secret handshakes for like freemasonry and stuff yeah so one of my old um one of my old managers a good, really good friend of mine his name is jeffrey and um he used to shake my hand kind of weird he used to like not shake my hand like fully he used to kind of hold in different like knuckles and stuff right. and one time i asked him hey man why do you shake hands like that and he told me he was a master Freemason, which is like a secret organization that a bunch of like presidents are part of. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Thing he's got. If you were a Freemason, you would give the handshake. You would acknowledge like a secret uh, message. Back. Oh, wow. wow. See, we don't even know. We've probably been <laughs> secret handshake, but yeah. we wow. probably respond to it. You know? Yeah. Right. Clueless. That's what I am. I've, I've listened to your podcast. I know you talk a lot about body language. How do you think that plays into greetings? I think it literally tells you everything that you need to know. I have... I think when you find out about it, it's kind of like peeling the veil behind the way the world works. And when you can tell that somebody's either interested in you or intimidated by you or doesn't like you, you can really interact and kind of dictate where you want the conversation to go. So for instance, like when somebody's feet is pointed towards you in conversation, they're interested in what you're having to say. But when you see one foot pointed outwards, they're actually wanting to subconsciously exit the conversation. Mm -hmm. Or if you felt like they had an interest in somebody else and their foot is subconsciously pointing towards them in the group, then you know to kind of like, you know, let them off or you know, sometimes it can indicate something as simple as having to go to the bathroom. Like they subconsciously want to leave the conversation to go to the bathroom. But um, I think it would just give you like an insight to kind of wrap up a conversation or finish telling a story based on their footing, like literally how their feet are pointed. And this has let me really find out like who has interest in me, like especially guys my age they try to play it like cool like the cool guy right. and i'm like i see your nostrils i see your feet <laughs> i know what you're mm -hmm. doing yeah and also like i just think like paying attention to people is so important so like when you're looking at somebody's eyes um oxytocin and serotonin and dopamine they all play into our pupil size so when somebody is romantically or sexually attracted to you their eyes will actually dilate so um, i think that would be a great tip if you're trying to like build rapport with somebody and talk to somebody you could see their eyes their nostrils their feet see how they're doing
Okay, so walk me through. So if somebody was shaking your hand, and you've already made your assessment on that, the next thing you would look at would be eyes, nose, actually, I would like and feet or feet first. Right. So I would actually even go back further. So let's say somebody you're entering into a room and you see somebody immediately shuffle their hair clothing. That means that they want to impress you subconsciously. So they're trying to see, oh man, I kind of got to like... Oh, for sure. Just like, oh, right, right. I want to look my best like... for somebody who's attractive that I find potentially interesting. So they're going to be fixing their hair, fixing their clothing, and also they're going to be straightening up their posture and kind of like when they look at you, they'll kind of start like look away real fast because it might be nerve-wracking to see somebody so attractive um but then yeah after the initial greeting i would go in to see their eye size their pupil size their nostrils flaring and also their feet pupil size you just pull out the magnifying Very glass and oh yeah <laughs> like, come over here you <laughs> yeah what, what, what? yeah because nobody wants like to a, something's going on in your right like nobody wants to give glass, away themselves like, the optometry <laughs> side <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and then you're like wait a second don't move. yeah but yeah, i think I that's I pretty natural like a cute optometrist she's like come on i see your pupils oh. like i'm literally an optometrist <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for that instance, I guess not. But like to look into somebody's <laughs> eyes is very normal when you're trying to, you know, get to know somebody. So you could yeah, really I easily do it. Yeah. And see, especially when they're trying to talk to you in a group, like when they're telling a joke or they hear a joke land, they'll look to the most important person or the person they respect the most in the group. So they'll turn to you wow. if they find you the most oh, respectful. That's Dang. interesting. Yeah. 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 Because I've, I've heard if two people maintain enough eye contact, it means they're either going to kiss or fight. Because it's like there's something, <laughs> nice. something oh, like wow. intense happening if it's prolonged eye contact. It's either like let's go or I it's, wonder oh what the, the length, what, what's the duration of seconds that eye contact uh, has to switch from being like, hey, I'm I see you to I'm going to fight you or yeah. we're going to make out. Like <laughs> there's a options yeah, yeah. I, I don't know i don't for me it feels like i have more than a second or two i just check other parts of the room and then come back i think but not to go for too long i don't know that yeah normal? i don't know maybe that's weak or something unless you're in a staring contest then that's the only other option right yeah. yes <laughs> no i can't yeah i blink all the time man so yeah according to uk it shows the perfect amount of time to stare at somebody is 3.3 seconds that's and after so that, short nice. but that's nice it feels like a long time. Yes, Three it seconds. does. It does. Especially if you don't know them very well. It could be like, <laughs> that's way too long if you don't know yeah. them. Looking at I'd, me. Be out. I'd be out. Right. <laughs> I also have something about smiling, too. Yeah, go for it. So um, I also learned this in my podcast class in college, but to smile is very important. You can actually, if this was just an auditory podcast and there was no camera, it'd actually be very important that we were smiling because you can hear the difference. Like I use the example in my podcast where I'm like, I love pancakes oh. versus I love pancakes. It's like, what sounds happier? And like we as humans mirror um, our human interaction. So when you're subconsciously smiling and happy and you know, you're giggling, you know, yeah. in between your sentences, somebody's going to leave your conversation <laughs> thinking, oh my gosh, I just, I felt so good about her. And I don't know why, dude, she makes me feel so happy and I don't know why. And it's like, I was subconsciously smiling. So you would smile back the entire time. So oh, I do wow. this when I'm trying to get a joke, I'll subconsciously laugh like, oh my God, like, well, you guys don't want to hear yeah. this. Like, and then people are like, are you starting to get giddy about it? Yeah. Cause they're like, yeah. Well, yeah. So, like it's already yeah. bubbling right. up inside of her. About the formation, right. they say to smile or like to lift the corners of your mouth when you sing, because oh. it lifts, it brightens the sound. Like you yeah. said, yeah, it makes it sound more interesting. And it kind of opens more like um, pathways in your in your face. It's Any a little like technique to get it to uh, to, to know somebody. Uh, you kind of like copy their uh, image. It's like a mirror. So if they were crossing their arms, you would do the same. You'd be yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Wow. Do you think people notice? Have you ever had that happen to you where they noticed you were mirroring them and they were like, Actually, at times in the previous podcast, our co-host was doing that to Dylan. Every time Dylan did something, the co-host would do the same. And I'm like, I see that. <laughs> yes. Is that me? I used to do this no, all the time. No, um, Maggie. Oh, yeah. okay. But I mean, I don't, I, he noticed it. Just she, so I always That's sit like, so I sit like this. And then and at so one she point sat. she switched and sat like that, which I... I think Matt, I don't think she was like copying, but maybe, but, but also She's we were like, having, on purpose, but also we were having a great conversation. So yeah. maybe it just was like clicked in her head to like, just sit like this. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, I, I actually know. did. I actually have a story about this. I did this in high school cause I started to study body language and I was like this guy, you know, when you're in class, you're all sitting facing the teacher, but I was like, I feel like this guy likes me and I don't know 
how I know, but I just feel like I know. So I was like, I'm going to do some body language mirroring tests. And so oh. I would be listening to the teacher. We're all facing this way. I'd lean back in my chair. He'd lean back in his chair. And by the way, he's six seats over. <laughs> but he didn't even know he was doing it. So then I'd lean forward, put my hand on my chin. He would lean forward and put his hand on his chin. I'm like, he doesn't even realize that he's subconsciously mirroring me because he's interested in me. But he just thinks that he's just sitting in class listening to the teacher. And I did it for wow. like weeks just to figure out this guy had a crush on me and i was right i just think that's a fun yeah. test like it's a fun <laughs> silent test to do all right so thank you so much for your time this has been a really fun podcast be sure to check out uh let's travel baby which is your podcast yes and I um, just wanted to end by asking you guys, so we've brainstormed a lot about handshakes and body language and all of these different types of greetings. So if you had to come up with the most awkward greeting, tell me all the elements of it. I think maybe we'll just hire mirroring to this. Like when the op- they- you would do opposite mm-hmm. mirroring? To make it awkward. Yes, like opposite mirroring, because I think that's always the basis of an awkward greeting. So they cross their hands, you go straight. Right, like this, a handshake (laughs) for a hug, a fist bump for a handshake. Like it's always the opposite of mirroring. You sit down, you stand up. It would have to be exact opposites. Yes, exact opposite. That's a good one. I think I would go in for an Eskimo kiss. Oh, oh my god. No. Don't even talk Pew. about that. Yeah. Be like, oh, I only Eskimo kiss. Be like, oh, oh yeah, sorry. no problem. Nice to meet you. I only Eskimo <laughs> kiss. I'm going now. And then just <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh. What is that? That's weirdo. That would be yeah. great. <laughs> that that's like yeah, that's top. And then you can make the smell more obvious. <laughs> oh yeah. Exactly. Smell and Touching all in one. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what I, was, well, I would just ask her to smell it from be like, may I smell your hand first? Oh, that's I a get, good awkward. I get right. chemical signals about the health of your immune system. Dip the handshake, please smell put it, the Please hit. put your finger up to my nose. Exactly. <gasps> oh, yeah. This isn't going to work out. Like, <laughs> exactly. Be upfront about it. I mean. I mean, like a lot of people try to hide it, but I just, I know we smell. <laughs> I think the most awkward reading is probably the probe. Just putting your hand like that. It just, it just yes. feels weird. Oh, the probe? Yes. Yeah, without agree. a doubt. Yeah, everybody said the probe. No, that's true. I mean, to probe the hand and then do the Eskimo kiss up. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. And then gosh. also be sitting while the other person is standing. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, so how would Let's that work? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, come here. Mm. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> First time meeting somebody. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> uh, Ooh, all right. Bomb. Cool. Mm-hmm.